he's had nothing but bad luck. So, um, I expect that to continue. Oh my God. <laughs> Here we are, parking lot is absolutely packed. Excitement is high, competition level is insane. We're up early, getting ready to make a big change on a cart. I'm already in my suit because it's cold. That can mean one thing, it's Grand Nationals. Day one out here, it's Friday, practice slash qualifying, and actually slash race day for this guy. So uh, dad is racing and I am racing. Um, now we do have three carts here, and uh, we, uh, we've been experimenting quite a bit. So, uh, like I said, we're getting ready to make a change on Dad's cart. Ben's gonna be here as well. Uh, he's our driver coach, uh, as I joked yesterday, AKA he's just here to tell us everything we're doing wrong. Driver critic. Driver critic, there we go. Driver critic. So, excited for this one. Uh, it's more competitive than ever, I think, out here, and so, um, Let's see where we stack up. That is your chance to be rude. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead. Of everything you know that you could get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget. Use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out Our pal Jorge was kind enough to give us GM Racing stickers Myself and Dad, yours is bigger than mine What, well, the, yeah. what the heck, Jorge? Huh, playing favorites Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Jorge hooked us up with some GM Racing stickers So I'm gonna put this in the most fitting place no, I'm just kidding. You know, Jorge, that's high quality stuff, man. And we get dad. There's the proof, Jorge. It's going on. You know why I'm putting it there? I do. I do not. That's where it should be if you're going to send it. <laughs> so yesterday out of the box, I was fast in my group. And, uh, Continued to have a pretty good second practice and it was all downhill from there. So trying to make some adjustments, especially for the afternoon heat time. We're gonna pull the medium axle out and Casey's rigging up a hard one here for me. We'll see if it uh, if it doesn't uh, help help the cart. Ben's not driving this week, but he's picked up a new hobby. <clears throat> it's only a matter of time. Smooth as silk. Poetry in motion. Look at that. Picked up the front end a little bit. Yeah. Graceful exit. He's going to be good at it. Yeah. Looks like the real race this weekend's about to happen. Kids all lined up. Oh, here we go. Uh -uh. We're not racing bikes. Why? Not my, boy. my last practice is done, and so that set qualifying order. And I'm looking here, and to find me, you gotta scroll quite a ways. 26th there. Um, out of 46, well, 42 at times. Not good. It doesn't actually mean anything because qualifying is still coming up. So I'm um, actually right behind my a buddy. Um, so we'll see how qualifying plays out here. I'm going to have to confront a problem. I'll let a lot of things slide here. And pretty easy going about things, but I have to draw the line somewhere. 
Ben, I need you to explain this. I had so, so I had I one and a half pop tarts. I saw there this morning, and the, yeah, there was like a half a pop tart and one beneath, and I was like, it's been a long time since I've had a, a pop tart. Anyway, hours go on, right? And nothing's changed. And then they're at the driver's meeting, and I see that it has not moved, and it's in the same state. I was like, well, I think we're past the point to where it's Casey's, and it's now just a new pop tart. So yeah, I cut off the little bit that you had eaten off of, and I ate the rest of it. <laughs> Okay, qualifying. Well, it didn't go. Uh, it didn't go great. I don't know, guys. I, don't, I just uh, never good at qualifying. So I was twenty-seven. Uh, the thing is, like, all I needed was two tenths, two tenths to be up. And it looks like like around 15. I mean, it's at such a tight field, and, and uh, it really just came down to me. It came down to me. So not great, but we got three heat races. That's weird. I did that instead of this. Uh, three heat races. So Dad is actually pushing up for his first one. His first one is today. Uh, mine's not till tomorrow. Getting ready here to start the uh, heat race one of the Grand National Six Cup Cart Grand National Six, and one of the rules they have is uh, they use the tram lines, and you're not allowed to have uh, tires on the tram lines, and you're not allowed to bump the cart in front of you. And I was extra cautious, lost a couple cart lengths here, but had some good momentum going into the first one, and salute out to the legends. Uh, really good, clean start and uh, just kind of settled in here and, and raced. It was, it was good to see from the beginning. Cart was good. Um, uh, kind of had a flyer in qualifications to get up to 15th. I'd been in the mid 20s and uh, had out qualified some guys I run with at Newcastle and I knew they would be coming. And they come here shortly, but uh, you can see it's a, a little technical track back in the horseshoe section here. Um, had worked out some issues I'd had in the scoreboard and got through that. But uh, coming down the front, uh, heading down here to turn five, this is a, a good passing zone, and Michael Wells was right behind me. Michael's fast, and so is Joe. And clipped Joe's uh, rear bumper there with my front and able to hold off a cart here going into the uh, scoreboard or cell phone tower hairpin. And... Um, had lost a little bit, but was running at about the same pace as those guys in front of me, so I was pretty pleased. You can see a lot of dicing going on up there and uh, a lot of chargers in this field. Uh, you have to be over 50, but that doesn't mean the testosterone's gone, and these guys uh, raced like champs and had a really good uh, exit there of the Monza. And heading into the scoreboard here, I, I duck out a little bit later, but I had thought maybe I could get a run on Joe, and then he drops a tire, um, and it made it a little bit easier. I probably wouldn't have got him if he hadn't dropped that tire. Um, and so off we go again. But you you know in the back of your mind, Joe's lightning fast uh, at times, uh, both in the Grand Nationals and in the, uh, in the uh, racing out at Newcastle on our uh, class and uh, knew he'd be coming back and he's he's real aggressive real good and uh, I was right here he comes and gets me again uh, you don't like to see somebody pass you twice but uh, they're able to you know just get that gap on me that I wish I could have closed up on a little bit um, tended to run four or five cart links behind the pack and and it's such a tight track there uh, Michael Michael Wells got bumped out and I was able to make a pass on him. I think that's was the final lap and uh, another car got turned around there. So I got passed more than I passed uh, others. That's just terrible. The thing is, I want to just tell you right now, we did a take one of this. Comedy Gold and the film director here put it on the cutting room floor. Well, we were, we were pushing three minutes. Hey, he, he was giving you a lap did, by lap break. I did good today. Yeah, he did good. Better than usual. Yep, he did I'm good. I'm happy. I'll sleep good tonight. There you go.
And, and we'll go back and get them tomorrow, Casey. <laughs> Take that red rocket with ghost powered engine, put that thing in down. You always struggle with ghost. Top 10. Ghost yeah. racing. Um, We're getting up to three minutes because of you now. Yeah. Uh, I will not sleep as good as dad tonight. I am not happy with with my performance in qualifying. 27th, so d it, it's disappointing a little bit, but at the same time, it is a very, very deep field, right? I just know I had more there. That's what's disappointing. Uh, I left it there in the car seat a little bit, just so that irks me a little bit, but three heat races to try to move forward. So here's to tomorrow. Saturday morning out here, we uh, I just had my warm up. Dad is dressed and ready. He's getting ready to go up for his warm up. Um, it is about 45 degrees. And uh, that last warm up session, I was just trying some uh, setup changes, just trying to free up the car. So I took all caster out and uh, stiff front bar and I was pretty happy with how the cart felt so now I uh, move on to my heat race number one and um, that's it's pretty important I gotta move up so we'll see how that one goes it is a chilly breezy but glorious morning here on one of my favorite treks of the year we're here at the CKNA Grand National Six. The parking lots are full here at the United States Constitution of Go Kart Tracks, Newcastle Motor Sports Park. To the morning walk with Dad. And I just can't say how much I enjoy this event. In some ways, it's like a family reunion. You get to meet your friends that maybe you only get to see a couple times a year share some stories catch up and then compete with them on the track and what i admire this this is what america was built on this type of spirit this is just a bunch of people out here working hard at something they love they're out here what i like to say they're out here grinding you know this is a roller coaster one practice your fifth fastest the next practice your 30th and you go out and you qualify and you realize that if you were two tenths faster you'd have improved by 20 spots and you just keep they this group of people just keeps going back to the well trying to make themselves better there's not a quitter out here and i think our society today could learn a lot from this event and the people that are participating in it so Thanks to all that are out here. Thanks for making it a, a great event. And I just can't tell you how much I enjoy being a part of it. So here's heat race one. I start 26th. Uh, to the left of me is Jeff and Amber, fellow Newcastle folks. And I have a pretty good run here on the outside. And I'm able to carry that momentum around Jeff, around Amber, and now around Dimmers here. So there's three spots that I made up. And then Steve, another fellow KRA, Newcastle guy, has a bobble. And so I'm feeling pretty good after this start. Like, it's worked pretty well. Why not press for another one, right? So here I throw it to the inside of Steve. Um, by the way, Steve, thank you for all the help you gave me with my brakes. But I, because I lost my momentum there, an event like this, if you do that, you're going to pay the price. Lost a spot. Here I'm going to have another chance to try to pass Steve. I see the opportunity here into this hairpin. I go low to the inside. I didn't expect him to stay on the outside, and I nearly ended up shoving him off. Luckily, it worked out where both of us stayed on track, and right here I get on by him. And then here's David Cole. Um, he is able to go around the guy that just got off track. And then somehow, I really still don't quite understand how that happened, but I got them both. So I end up catching the group in front of me, and I have the opportunity to, to make a move here on six. And I didn't anticipate his line being like this, uh, super low, and his entry was very early. Um, pop, probably going defensive, 
he was probably going defensive. I didn't expect it, got into him, and because of that, I ended up losing two spots. So I went from 20th back to 22nd, and that's where I finished. But, you know, I gained four spots, and the cart was feeling pretty good, so I was happy with this. Happy birthday, Case! Oh, That's Regan's handiwork. Yeah. Oh, that race is over, and these man, these grippy tires, my weak arms, bad combination. I'm just like, oh, right here, just right there where the bicep, I guess, meets whatever it meets. It is uh, friggin' sore, but that race was great. Cart was the best it's been yet. Um, I'm looking for just a little something extra in like the fast corners, which is kind of odd because like uh, on MG tires for like normal KRA events, it's like that's that's my bread and butter or turns one, two, and three. And right now I'm just not releasing out of them. Like it's just kind of kind of I see the other guys just pull out, uh, exit out of the corners a little better. So I'm trying to find something to help with that. Um, and if I if I make a change, I will let you guys know. The biggest takeaway for me, I'm just looking at race monitor here, is I was within three tenths of the leaders, uh, time-wise. It was by far the fastest I've gone yet. And uh, just try to find those next three tenths. So I mentioned uh, I wanted to make a change to be How about these streamers, more free. though? No, Regan, thank you so much. That was very nice. <laughs> what? What about me? I know whose idea it was. Uh, that was very nice, Regan. Um, so I mentioned uh, just in the fast stuff, like I, I just couldn't come out of corners as fast. And I was suspecting it was going to be, I was thinking back here on the wheelbase setting. So on the AM29, you can, you can adjust your wheelbase. Right now I run short and I typically run short, but um, I was thinking maybe I need to be longer. And that, so I just ran it by the uh, Canadians over there in Little Canada. Just have to go over, when I go over there, I have to pull out my passport for them to check across the border. But um, they uh, they confirmed it for me, said run it run it in the long wheelbase setting, help free it up on, on the exit of fast stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do. Long wheelbase and on to the next race. Starting heat number two. Uh, starting 13th, um, following the tram lines, making sure not to bump the guy in front of me. You know, those rules, I think, are successful. The, they were calling a lot of penalties. They were uh, watching the racing closely, and um, I thought they did a really good job. I thought the event felt safer this year than it ever had before. I, uh, uh, but it is a balance because these guys are coming from all over the country to Newcastle to race, uh, not drive single file, and there's going to be some aggressiveness with that. And you kind of get that. But I thought they did a really good job uh, all in all. Not everybody's going to agree with that because some penalties hit harder than others, and I think I was part of one of those that's yet to come. Um, felt bad about that. But uh, back to the racing here, the cart's pretty good. Um, able to run with some of those guys that got by me, especially when they raced. That was probably the one disappointment. If they weren't racing, they had me by a tenth or two. So here's the racing's going on. Michael Wells trying to make something happen. Held my line down low. Michael gave me room. Uh, Michael was rocket fast all weekend. Uh, really had an unfortunate qualifying attempt, but he had been top five in the practice. And I think if he'd have been able to start up there, he'd have ran up there. But it's always fun to watch him because he only knows one way, and that's towards the front. And it's fun to race with him. He's always uh, been extremely clean uh, with me, real aggressive. But he's a good racer uh, and, a, and a better human being. Just super fun off the track. So trying to keep up with Michael is, is always a treat. And uh, running with him here, we're, we're running in a pack. And you can see, here's just the three or four cart links that I dropped back. Uh, something in my nature doesn't just stick right with them or maybe it's a driving deficiency. Another top runner that I think uh, we saw looking the other way, looking the wrong way in heat one there on the last lap. 
uh, gets by me. Um, and then another clean pass coming here into the uh, number five. I was I was a uh, piece of meat going into number five for a lot of folks, but we're heading in here. Uh, John O'Keefe uh, puts pass number one on me, and unfortunately that's, uh, that's given a spoiler, but he's going to get me again here. But uh, heading into this uh, green corner, there's a big scrum, and right here you can see a cart upside down. Fortunately, there were no injuries. Carts are all over the place. I get by John there, um, and I have no idea where M Michael found that path. Michael Wells uh, went from green corner to the scoreboard hairpin in a route never traveled before and came out just in front of me. I didn't actually see him until very late. It, it looks obviously there, obvious there on the video, but uh, the number five cart was in the middle of the track, and I was trying to figure out if he was disabled and where to pass him. And uh, so Michael snuck up on me on the outside, and here's part two of uh, John O'Keefe getting by me. I told him after the race, you know, there should be a one-pass limit, um, but uh, he's a good racer, good charger. If there was a confidence booster here, you know, they here again, five, six car lengths, they pull away. And it was fun watching these guys because they were really racing hard. You knew they would. All three of them are, are hard racers. And when they get to racing, I was able to col close the gap back up. Uh, just wish I'd have been a, a little bit faster without that racing so that maybe I could have joined them. But they all had me covered and, um, you know, a little little bit of a confidence boost to be able to run with them. But moral victories only get you so far. And I've just got to find those extra tenths or two. Yeah, I'm an old racer. Uh, haven't been doing it a real long time, but I've got to find those tenths um, at some point. And I'm not giving up on it, but uh, it sure would would be a lot more fun on these videos to say look at me here I swoop in on O'Keefe and Michael Wells get them both in the same corner and set my sights on the top five but that's just not where we're at right now so uh, settled for a good time uh, heading down here towards the finish line not sure where I finished but there was a lot of chaos just glad nobody got hurt with a cart going upside down expecting a red flag it could have been a lot worse so we set up pretty well Heading to Heat 3, real happy. Got a skateboard now? Just got it. He just got the skateboard. Yeah, he said. Yeah. It is shown. Yeah. What did he get last yeah. year? I, I, I broke hey, my foot. I'll just get there somehow. I'm just not there yet. Yeah. Just a freaking awesome. Is that how you broke your foot? Yeah. Yeah, skateboard. Show Dada your sign, and then we'll go watch Sam. Okay? Yeah, I got the Okay, we'll go watch Sam. Okay, heat race number two, starting 22nd, right behind Steve and next to David. Get off to a pretty subpar start. Turns out my clutch was uh, a little greasy. Uh, right here, you saw Jorge kind of get bumped around, and it was hard enough to jack up his chain, which you'll see right here throws up his hand and he was out which is a real bummer that really sucks not to make it past turn three in heat race two so felt bad for him here I am pushing uh, the group in front of me around the 73 here worked out well for them but I couldn't get around him and so here he's he was on the inside he was able to hold the spot and I had to fall back in behind uh, here I am back behind Steve, and Steve was having some kind of issue, I'm sure, because he wasn't as fast as he normally is, so I uh, make a move to his inside here and and get around him. Next, I come across the number 70 here, which these lefty cards always kind of, like, weird me out, and just weird me out because all I can do is, like, look at the how weird that muffler is pointing the wrong way, so... I have the chance to throw it on the inside here. I'm gonna make the move until boom, right there. I hit that guy's bumper. Here, what? what is that? Like, yeah, what am I thinking? It's racing, dude. But anyways, uh, didn't get the spot and he was uh, able to get it back. Here I'm behind the 484 and I give him a bump. He's able to go to the inside of the 91 here. And I try to take the 91 here but 
it's a tough corner to actually stick a pass and uh, he was able to hold the spot 164 nearly got me luckily there's just not that much room so he had to fall back here the 91 has a bit of a bad exit out of a green corner and that allows me to set him up and make a pass due to the inside of the scoreboard hairpin here you're going to see a dude come up on me that is absolutely rolling. Uh, I didn't actually know who it was, um, so I, this is last lap, I held my line on the outside. He didn't like it. Uh, turns out it was Eric Fagan, uh, arguably the fastest guy out there that, that weekend, and he was, man, he was on the move. So nice move there, and he, you can just see it, his car is so, like, well set up and just watch this corner here he just springs out of it and just takes off so kudos to him and uh, congrats on the multiple wins and so here I was able to uh, capitalize and make one more spot I finished 16th but due to four penalties I finished 12th A little feedback after my race so I had lengthened it, went from short to long wheelbase. And handling wise, like I didn't feel any difference, right? I, I probably because I'm dense, but I didn't notice any difference in the way the cart handled. But in the release from the corners, I mean, I felt as fast as anyone out there. Look at, I, look at my times, I ran the same time as, as the leaders. Uh, I think there was one guy that popped a super fast time, like a, seven tenths faster than anyone else but typically it was like a 15.4 and that's what i ran 15.4 15 i think maybe there were a couple 15.3 15 15.2s in there but anyways i was there and i just felt phenomenal um i finished 16th in that one but due to some penalties a lot of penalties really i moved up to 12th and uh so i'll start this last heat race in 12th and i am just so happy with how this card is handling. I mean, it is it is excellent. The racing has gone my way, luckily. And so, just trying to stay clean, make a pass or two, you know, when I can, but the key for me is really just trying to be stay, like, staying clean. Um, and getting lucky, right? Can't rule out luck. But yeah, it's been, been a lot of fun, so get this next heat race going and hopefully I'm just as happy when I talk to you. So we're starting here in heat three and everything has gone according to plan. I, you know, I had a good qualifying run, uh, kept it clean in heats one and two, and I'm sitting in a position here starting 11th where if I can hold that position or even lose a position or two, uh, I'm probably gonna be starting in the top 10 just based on where some of the other folks had finished. And we get off to a good start, but there were a couple carts up there that I think weren't quite as fast as some of the chargers in this group. And I'm just kind of sitting back there watching it. But the thing I noticed was, uh, and it was early, obviously, and they were racing, but I hadn't gone full out. There were places where I could have stuck my nose in there, uh, could have maybe followed the cart low here, and not really being uh, passive, but just kind of managing my aggressiveness. I felt like the cart was really good. I'm focused on Michael Wells and, and keeping up with him coming out of this turn. And I referred to the John O'Keefe pass of yesterday. And uh, here comes the cart. He gets in front of me, kind of swerved out just a hair. We touched, it was a minor bump. And uh, I went off, but it was a minor bump. And it was one of those things where I'm sure the other driver disagreed with it and I wouldn't disagree with him uh, they penalized him and, and made him wait for me to, to get behind him or, or to get behind me or that's where he would be placed and you know just after watching it and even at the time I, I was I wish they hadn't penalized him because I felt like it was one of those racing things it snuck up on me I moved away when he bounced out and anyway I ended up in the grass and that's not to say I wasn't a little hot under the helmet, not so much at the driver, but just at the chance that had been lost because, uh, you know, if I could have got to the top 10. Now here, I'm hot under the helmet. I'm trying to get past Jeff Munch there. 
and uh, hook his front bumper and it kicks me right out into the grass and um, probably should have been a lot more judicious at that point and, and patient but I was going to try and get Jeff going into that green corner there and didn't and now I'm back in line things aren't uh, going too bad the cart was really really good uh, through the laps it had taken to catch up with these guys uh, had put down some pretty good lap times I'm able to get by a cart here and um, pull in on the next group but uh, that's pretty much how it ended up and it was it was just one of those races where um, had a had a top 12 top 13 cart I felt and uh, we ended up back in the 30s and um, one of those racing deals uh, turned out bad for another driver as well as me and um, you know not not mad not bitter about it at the time it just was was frustrating because um, had the car had the speed had the position and felt like that race was gonna come to me uh, over time so anyway we were still setting up pretty good for the final having a lot of fun out there the CKNA Nationals is just a great event both on track and off track and great competition um, I just can't say enough about it. I'm not contending for a win, but I'm out there having fun and, and put a really good foot forward for, for most of the weekend and, and just just really enjoyed it. Can't say enough about it. Newcastle's a great host. CKNA runs a great show. And um, just, you know, it's, it's a once-a-year thing that you look forward to, and I'm looking forward to next year. Enjoying his second race. He's a real fan now. Yep. Two, Two weekends, weekends in a row. row. Sweet. Here I am starting 12th in heat race three. And this, you know, a lot of credit to cup cards because while every it wasn't perfect, you can't get everything. Like, I think they did a phenomenal job. Like, these starts were, were very good. If they did a nice job of enforcing as many penalties as they could. Anything they saw, it seemed like they, they'd call. So props to them. Here was a good clean start, a lot of two side by side, and, and we all stayed clean. Uh, here the 47 kind of gets knocked around by the guy in front of him, and I just capitalize on that lost momentum. And then the guy behind me does the same thing, capitalizes on my lost momentum. So here the 91 goes around and hangs a little defensive there which gives me the chance to try to make a move here, but he was still going defensive. And so I didn't commit all the way and he was able to maintain that spot. I ended up racing with the 91 a lot this weekend. Had a lot of fun with him. It was some good hard racing. And here he is gonna go defensive again. So I think I have the chance to go low, but there's the old over under and not only do I not get him I lose a spot and that's just the way it goes you know if you uh, don't execute correctly you're gonna lose a spot come across this gaggle of carts and just right here Dimmer's no fault of his own or the 73 is just kind of a racing incident it looked like but he got knocked around and I got the spot here in the cell tower hairpin you're going to see a cloud of dust get kicked up here. Turns out it was Jamie, who's another fellow Newcastle guy. And right here, like, I'm getting pushed real hard from behind. Like, I could not stop from hitting Jamie. Uh, felt bad because he had just gotten kicked a lot, and I just kicked him again while he was down. But turns out it was uh, Eric behind me, and man, was he rolling. I felt that momentum as I was going <laughs> into Jamie. And so here, you know, he makes the move on past Jamie. So, Jamie, my apologies on that. Um, I just didn't anticipate it. Uh, so here, this is all me. This is the king of late moves. Man, that was late. I just, I remember thinking to myself, that, no, no, too late, too late. Ugh. Even though I just committed to it and got into him. So, Jamie, I definitely deserve that. Uh, you know, hand it, handshake of what was I thinking, so. 
So getting towards the end of the race here, last couple laps, and got some slicing and dicing going on. Still behind Jamie here. I should kind of drop a wheel a little bit there, but still get a pretty good exit out of this scoreboard hairpin. And right here, like, I think Jamie kind of got caught up, and I kind of tap his bumper there. I don't think I was the cause of him going off. Like, it didn't feel like it was at the time. So last lap here and come across a couple carts. I don't know exactly what happened here, but they got into each other. Didn't work out well for them, but I benefited, got two spots from it. And now I'm sitting behind uh, number five here, Perkins. And I, with hindsight, I should have probably been satisfied with this position, but I just wanted a little bit more. Got a little greedy. And right here, he goes defensive. I thought I'd try to set him up for an over-under. And he didn't, probably didn't see me right there. Kind of killed my momentum. And uh, here, I, I think, is where I really messed up. Go, trying to do an over-under. And right there, opened up the door for this. <laughs> Just, I went from uh, having a pretty solid, you know, easy finish to losing two almost three spots right there at the finish line so finished 11th but due to two penalties i finished ninth honestly no complaints like i'm just very happy i knew i could run with anyone uh most anyone out there and it was a good feeling well that was the last heat race for the day good it was real good I got a little greedy at the end and uh, ended up cost me a couple spots but still before penalties I finished 11th so I don't know if penalties will help me at all or if I'll just be in 11th but from starting the beginning of the day in 26 I'm I'm very happy um, I feel for Amber here our our pit mate it's just been where I've had I've had a lot of good breaks. She's got nothing but nothing but bad breaks, and I just feel for her because it could very easily be her, you know, up there where I'm at. It's just it's just kind of how the the breaks have gone, and that's that's a bummer. I mean, I'm sorry, Amber, um, but uh, you know, back back to. Something a little lighter. It's just, you know, I've been once I made I just had dialed this car in. I like I don't wanna I don't wanna touch it. I'll clean my clutch and I'll change my oil and I'll put gas and air in it. And then like that's it. I'm not touching it. Like I've got something for almost all of them out there. There's 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 some guys that I definitely can't even touch, but like a number of those guys, like I know I can compete with with a lot of the, those those guys up there, and that's a good feeling. And um, I'm gonna chase that tomorrow for the final. I'm there to compete, man. Let's do this. Use your Batman wood. <laughs> Doesn't even. Where is she? Casey, can you bring me out? He's <laughs> like, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, see, he likes it. Blanky. Yeah, your baby's oh, like yeah. deep voices, so. Bo, you're so cute. It was quiet. That was this? Oh, dude, uh oh. This has been on all weekend. <laughs> you haven't tried it? Yo, I haven't even checked yo, the audio. Yeah, you have no. zero audio. All of it's going to be voiceovers. So. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It's going to be all voiceovers. It better, it better not be. work on yours. I don't know. For some reason, mine is just. It was a heavy, H, uh, Hero 7 Black? Yeah. Oh, no. Ah, uh, okay, well, Jorge's delivered uh, two pieces of bad news now. So, Jorge, jam vlog, don't even bother checking him out. <laughs> uh, just gonna pass him like I'm gonna do it on track. Dude, I haven't passed you all weekend. Uh, you didn't qualify. Oh, I had a killer run. That was straight luck. Yeah, no, that wasn't luck. He's a lot of bad luck. Which at first, well, you know, until until he came up here earlier, uh, I felt bad for him. And then, 
then he lays a little nugget on me. Yeah. You want to you wanna say it or you? Oh, basically, uh, this is my plan. Hopefully, Casey goes into the turn one so hot he takes out half the field. So I'm hoping he wrecks, to be yeah, honest. That's it. I hope, get that's it gives, I hope you wreck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, he's had nothing but bad luck. So, um, I expect that to continue. Oh, my God. <laughs> Man, that's bad. You see, when you guys see the camera coming out, he's, he's yeah. mean. Uh, no, I'm he's doing this on camera. I wanted you guys to see it. I wanted yeah, to be with exactly. this. I'm going to defend myself yeah. here. <laughs> hey, today's is Casey's birthday. He had an amazing run today. It really was. Holy crap, what a run. Yeah, yeah. I'm so jelly. Yeah, it was a good run, man, but it's all luck. Honestly, it is. Here's all about survival, man. Right. Yeah. Now, again, Jam Vlog. Actually, do check them out after you watch this video. And like, subscribe, and share it to both channels. There you go. Like, share, and subscribe. Whatever it is, <laughs> do all those things. <laughs>